Sometimes a cotton t-shirt, no matter where it is, if it hit, it hit, okay, it hit. And this one for me just hit. Very exciting news. Y'all, so you also can get you a little lineup at your tailor shop. Like I love a multi-person purpose little business. Love it. What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Sierra. Hey, and I am back with a thrift try on haul for you guys, as well as some very exciting news. So I know I've been away from YouTube. Y'all know I have an excuse every time, but this time I have been away. My friend Angel and I have been working on my stand store and I am so excited you guys. Basically, I just feel like I've been working in luxury retail now for almost 10 years, almost 11 years actually. And you know, I love what I do. I love servicing people. I love putting a smile on people's faces. As cliche as it sounds, like it really does warm my heart. When I'm able to like fill a void in someone's closet or, you know, help them with like styling advice, like I love it. I get a joy out of doing it. And I feel like it is my way of doing my good in the world. Cause you know, I'm not in the medical field. I'm not a teacher or anything. So with that being said, I was sitting down pondering one day and I was like, yo, how can I do something like what I do at work, but like on my own and for my supporters, you guys. And so I was just like on Instagram and I seen this one person had a stand store where they would do like mixed mystery um, boxes, meaning that they were like thrift pieces and then it would be a mystery and then they will send them to you. And I was like, I love this concept. They also remind me of what I was doing in Chicago, just like on the side, I didn't have any like legit like website or anything, but for some of my like close friends, I would like thrift things for them because they just found thrifting just overwhelming or just didn't like thrifting at all. So that is a service that I found to be very just fun for me and rewarding for my friends because I would find them some really, really good pieces. With that being said, with my stand store account, again, it's a little bit more legit this time. Um, if you guys click on it, it is very, very easy and simple to use, which is why I chose to go with the stand store. It's because it's very seamless. The first line on my description is, is it's simple as it sounds okay basically what I'll be doing with this service for you guys is going out and I'll be thrifting five gems for you guys and these five gems is gonna change from person to person it's really gonna be what you find that you're missing in your wardrobe or what you just always wanted in your wardrobe or you can just let you know me give me free range and I feel like I have attained a pretty good high through again my um, experience in retail and just working with so many different people and body shapes and colors and tones. One thing about me is I have been thrifting since I was like six years old. Okay, I've always talked about it. I hated it when I was a kid, but obviously through repetition and going to the thrift store so many times and working the jobs I have worked that were more fabric focused, I have attained a really good eye when it comes to thrifting. Um, and I feel like the most pieces that I get compliments on are like thrifted pieces. So I'm like, yo, let me go ahead and put my supporters on real quick because I want y'all to be fly and one of ones just like your girl, okay? And just how we can just elevate your wardrobe with pieces that I will again find for you. And I'm gonna be thrifting these pieces so you're not gonna be paying an arm and a leg. And with this service, of course, I'm gonna be finding you five gems, but I'm also going to be dry cleaning these pieces before I send them out to you, as well as offering a mood board on how you can style each and every last piece, okay? Um, I had offered this for my only client right now in New York, uh, Lucia, hey girl. I made her little mood boards um, for when she was going to Paris on how she could like style each piece that I had chosen for her. Um, and she found that to be very, very helpful. So I'm gonna be offering the mood board as well. And that is gonna be it, you guys. I, again, I am not necessarily doing it for the money. I'm doing it because I find that this is a joy of mine. And I'm just like, I've always wanted to be able to offer you guys some type of a service. And I figured this is it. So go ahead, check out the stand store down below. Now, without further ado, we're gonna hop into the thrift try on portion. And you guys are gonna be going to the tailor shop with me because I'm actually going to be getting two pairs of pants taken in the waist. I feel like like maybe a lot of you guys as well, I'm not, I know I'm not the only one, we thrift things and then we're gonna say we're gonna go to the tailor and we never go to the tailor. So I was like, you know what? I got off work early today, I'm gonna go to the tailor. So I thought it would be fun to take you guys with me. So be sure to stick to the end of the video. Ooh. that I have is gonna be this little tank top here. And I love it because 
it is 100% silk mainly. Um, the lining is a polyester, which I don't mind. But yes, the outer is 100% silk and I was attracted to it mainly because how it, it is constructed. I really love the open neck detail. It kind of reminds me of like a little piano or something like that that you play. And I also love like the neckline. I feel like necklines like this tend to look good on people with like broad shoulders, just really thin, dainty little lines like this. And also, I don't know what you call it, like halter, I guess, style. It just, I feel like it really accentuates the shoulders. And also it has the same little piano detail at the bottom of it. And if I'm honest, I don't really love the bottom of it. So if I wear this shirt, I'll probably wear it tucked in with like a little cardigan. But again, the main attraction is definitely going to be the top. Like I freaking love the top of this. And the fact that it's silk, it's just gonna just really have a nice flow to it and brace to it in the summertime. And yeah, it also has this little keyhole at the back, which is really nice and sexy, but not overly so. And I'm also happy that it fits me perfectly, like it's not hanging too low on my, you know, chest area. It is just really, really, you know, a nice little top, so yeah. Next, we're gonna get into another little tank top. And I was in the women's section, and it's so funny because I was just talking to my sister and I was like saying that I wanna wear more crop tops. I don't know, I am just one that I love the human body i love my body i don't mind showing my body and i just feel like i wanted to wear more crop tops you know and with that being said i am age conscious i'm not ageist okay i don't judge people off they age but i don't know i just feel like me personally edging towards third i want to still appear more mature looking like i don't want to look like i'm 12 especially because i have like a younger face and if i don't have on my glasses and i'm just wearing sneakers and like a t-shirt people literally think i'm like 19 like i get carded when i go to the little deadly for my love ear like so <laughs> definitely like i want to give one on okay so with that being said when i wear this crop top i do want to wear it with like maybe a little slip skirt and like a little heel to just elevate it because i do feel like again i will be giving 12, 13 vibes if I'm throwing on with a pair of jeans and sneakers. I mean, obviously, depending on how you style it, but y'all know what I mean, okay? We all done seen, you know, how little teenagers are dressed nowadays. But, yeah, I love this little tee. It has, says, like, USA Tour on it. I thought it was just, like, really, like, cheesy and, like, really early 2000 y uh, with the graphic and the brand originally was H&M. I am not one to buy fast fashion firsthand, but again, I will thrift me a little H&M shindig, okay? Especially if it's cute and I thought this was cute, so yeah. Next item is going to be another tank top, you guys. And I was so excited to find this. I couldn't believe it actually. And unfortunately, it does not have tags on it. But I will say looking at it and feeling it and looking at the details on it, it does look like it could be a designer item. Um, looking at the fabric, it looked like it could be like a wool, definitely not a synthetic, maybe like a wool cotton blend maybe. Um, but as you can see, it does have texture, so maybe more so like a wool. Definitely the little tie on the side is what makes it feel a little bit more elevated to me, like it could be designer. Um, it just looks like it's, again, constructed very, very well, like especially with the like raw edge at the end, like I love it so much. And I am definitely gonna be wearing it with probably a pair of like cotton jeans, like my Margiela tabbies. It's just so surprised at how perfect it fit me. Like this top, I feel like it's so beautiful. I think this is probably like my most favorite thing that I thrifted. And I know I'm just gonna wear it forever, definitely all year round, because in, in the summer, obviously it's sleeveless, so I can get away with wearing it with like little skirts and things like that, but then fall, winter, throw a little cardigan on, and it's gonna be everything. Um, so super, super happy to have found this piece. Next item we're gonna be getting into is a little polo situation. And the brand on this one is a Head USA and it is 100% cotton made in USA. And I had never heard of this brand, a Head USA. I feel like most brands that I find thrifted, I just have to research and that's when I, you know, am learning about them. Uh, but the Head USA I found was a golf brand or like an athletic brand and they're known for like making little polos and things like this for people to, you know, do their athletics in. Um, and with that being said, when it comes to brands like that, they are always, or tend to be anyway, uh, more functional and use more like wearable fabrics. For instance, this is a very lightweight cotton, which I freaking love. It's a little transparent, but like not so much so when it's on the body, which is what I love. And it is nothing like a linen, a lightweight cotton, a lightweight silk, okay, in the summertime, it just feels like joy on the body. It just moves like, you know, water when the wind blows, when it comes to like natural fabrics like this. 
um and i will say it's a little bit long i feel like i can get away with kind of blousing it but i think that tucked in with a pair of jeans is just a very classic look um and also i feel like the polo part <laughs> it lays really nicely and definitely definitely i'm gonna have this forever i love the stripe detail it's just so classic love it next we're gonna get into a good old look gilding okay sometimes a cotton t-shirt no matter where it is if it hit it hit okay it hit and this one for me just hit and i did look up gilding because y'all know i love to give y'all little facts on you know every piece that i find if it has a tag and gilding i feel like we've all seen gilding at like walmart um one fun fact that i read about gilding is if you're looking to start a brand which i feel like a lot of t-shirts that i bought from like friends and stuff that have started brands use gilding and what i read was the reason why people choose gilding for their t-shirts is because they're very durable and very soft and can be easily screen printed on so i guess if you're looking to start a brand maybe look at gilding and also they're not super expensive i think they're like maybe two dollars wholesale there are obviously much better tees out there but i just couldn't pass this one up for some reason i just love how it had like a little raw edge to it and i feel like obviously i can do this to my own gilded t-shirt for like under ten dollars but with this one i love the little seven on the back like it just looks like a freaking six or seven year old actually did it and i feel like we all know lucky number seven seven is one of my favorite numbers i have 77 actually on the back of my neck so it is gonna be a triple seven moment when i put this on i am one to just love you know the again the nuances when it comes to pieces that you find at the thrift store like where else am i gonna find a freaking seven like this you know like someone drew it because someone lived with drew it and i am never gonna find this ever again so that to me makes this gilded tea a little bit more special than your regular regular little gilded you know what i'm saying so, all right next item we're gonna be in it too or next items actually are gonna be all bottoms and the first bottom we're gonna get into is the only bottom that fits me like a glove the last two that's what we're gonna be going to the tailor shop for so stay tuned but this one here this levi 505 okay that's what i mean i could not freaking believe it it was like just literally just singled out amongst the jeans just waiting for you girl okay so i got these actually in the men's section and when i seen them they look so freaking tiny i thought they were kids at first but they are actually a 28 waist and 30 inseam so they say but i do feel like these may have been uh hemmed definitely at the bottom i don't think they've been taken in in the waist um because i don't see like any alteration like stitches or anything but these fit me so good y'all and i actually did a little bit of research on 505s and the levi 505s is known to be like a really classic straight leg jean it is straight throughout the jean um the biggest difference between the 505 and the 501 is the 501 tends to be very tight on the thigh and i actually tried on my 501 for the purpose of this video so you guys could see like i can barely pinch any fabric on my 501 but it does tend to like loosen a little bit after the knee which is what i really love about it it. um i feel like that leg bottom tends to look good with like little flats and little mules and things like that um i feel like with the 505 this 505 it does look a little bit more tapered to me i don't know because i do own a 505 actually but it's in a 32 waist so i guess three four sizes bigger than this um and that one i usually wear is like a little boyfriend fit which i feel like is such a vibe I feel like you can never really go wrong with denim, especially when it's 100% cotton. Like, you can really always make it work. So I have me now a little baggy little vibe, and now I have one that fits, fits. What I read about 505s also is that they always have a zipper, okay? So the Levi 501s, they are a button five, but button fly but 505 zips okay so if you are one that don't like buttons and again working in retail i find that a lot of guys are like i don't like buttons you know i hate a button so maybe you can now look to the 505 because again all zips although i feel like with a button fly you get used to it it's just as easy to you know unbutton as it is to zip especially over time um, one way you can actually tell if a, a pair of levi's is it vintage is by looking at the care tag they said the ones that were made after the levi jeans that are made after 2003 so again not made in usa have a like fabric tag like a satin tag but the ones that were made 
2003 and before so made in usa all have paper care tags and this one actually is freaking paper y'all and as you can see the tag actually says made in usa so i actually thrifted me a pair of made in usa leave by uh what she say in my leave by jeans okay and I got these for the low, y'all. And I absolutely love the way the person wore them in. Look at the little pocket detailing. Oh, it's just phenomenal. And also, like, they wore them in at the top, too, at the front. I feel like these were probably, like, a little skater pants, pair of jeans or something like that. Also, a little, I guess, a little bleach stain here, which, again, I don't mind. I am definitely one to embrace those types of details. And I love it, too, because I feel like who don't love a worn-in pair of jeans? I absolutely love this. Also, the leg opening, again, is so perfect. I do have a lot of jeans with this leg opening, and I have so many now. I think four or five pair of washed denim like this. But, again, the nuances, that's where the, where the differences come in at, okay? What this one do, the other one can't do, okay? That's how I be justifying the money. So, the last two pants are the ones that I'm going to have to take to the tailor. So, I'm going to kind of breeze through this little section because they don't fit, and we going to talk at the tailor shop. But yeah, y'all, so I got me a pair of Dickies, and what I read about Dickies is they were found in Fort Worth, Texas, and they were made with Texas in mind. They wanted to make these with that same Texas, I don't take no mess type of mentality. And with that type of mentality, you got to have some real durable pants. And that's what they actually said, that with this fabric makeup, Dickies are 65% polyester and 35% cotton. And that is a very nice, durable, again, functional uh, fabric weave. So that kind of makes them like rip resistant, I read. And this fit is actually their classic fit. I actually do own their most popular fit, their most sold fit, I think, which is the 874, uh, which is very classic. I feel like it tends to look nice on like anyone. But these, I really like the color of them. And I think that's why I was gravitated to them is because they're brown. And I actually don't mind that they fit a little bit baggy. I don't want to take that away from them. However, they are falling off my way. So that is the reason why I'm going to get them taken in. I am a cancer, so I'm all here for a nostalgic vibe. So these remind me definitely of like the early 2000s. I feel like I can wear these with my little Margiela's and a little tank top. And it's going to be so cute, so simple, and so effortless. We're going to see what they say at the tailor shop, y'all. But obsessed. Oh, guys. Thank you, you too. <laughs> if it's not one thing, it's another. So I'm on my way to the tailor shop, y'all. Literally up the street. And they only accept cash, and I knew that, and I have no cash. So I called them, and I was like, do you accept, you know, apps, cash, out and then they was like, we accept cash. And I'm like, but you do you accept apps? They're like, yeah. So I don't know, it kind of seemed like they didn't really understand what I was saying for real, so we kind of see, let's go. And this is the table that I love to go to. Actually, I say that, but I haven't been here in such a long time because the jobs that I've been working have had like on-site tailors, so I haven't been out here or have had a need. Um, but now that I don't work at those shops anymore, I am back to Little Old Orchard. And one thing about them is they do same-day tailoring and it is not super expensive. I'm gonna try to show y'all they price list. Nothing. No snap. Yeah. How about right now? Yep. Um, so they was playing music, so I am going to do a voiceover for this part. But as you guys can see, the tailor is literally just taking it in the waist. He do a simple little mark. The whole process is literally under a minute. So as you guys can see, I have got fitted for my trousers. It was very, very fast. And they actually told me it's gonna be ready in 30 minutes, which is crazy because they've been telling everybody else 45, but maybe my service is just gonna be in and out. I figure I should take advantage of never being in this neighborhood and exploring a little bit. Um, I love going to Bodie, it's literally like a museum for me. And I say that because I never buy anything, but I do like looking at it. But I feel like the Bodie still definitely have some pieces that you know everybody don't have. But I feel like definitely the girls know what Bodie is now, okay? But with that being said, I'm just gonna pop in there real quick and see what they have. And also, I feel like the staff is really nice every time I go in. So I just like to go and pop in there. Um, but yeah, let's see. Also, this store, Kobo, is another store that I always recommend to people. And I always freaking love to go peek and see what they have inside. But I've never bought anything myself. But they are one of the stockists for Head Manor. 
which I think Dover Street and them is like the only people in New York that sells head manor. Um, I, let's pop in. Let's just pop in. Again, the staff usually is nice and it's a vibe. So as you guys can see, Kobo, the overall aesthetic is very clean. Um, even the people that work there are just so like cool and like fashionable and good looking. This brand, Katrique Research, I had never heard of, but I, right off the back, I was like, this reminds me of Bodhi and definitely gives me that same feeling that I had when I first saw my first Bodhi piece, which is like, oh my gosh, the craftsmanship, the fabric, the way it's constructed is just amazing. Um, and this brand is um, an Indian brand. And actually I have it pulled up right here on the web. Car Trick Research emphasizes the preservation of Indian handicraft by closely partnering with skilled artisans nationwide. So very beautiful pieces. Also, another thing that I love about this store is they have a vintage section in the back. I've seen vintage like Izumiyake hair, Armani. This top here uh, was Ferragamo. Yeah, definitely good taste when it comes to the owners. And they do have some head manor actually on sale because it's like fall and winter. This coat I thought was beautiful. I think it was like 2400 and then half off. I've actually seen these shoes on a couple of people and they have been telling me that they've been getting them from Kai D Utility and Kobo. And the name of the brand is An Irrational Element. And I don't know much about the brand. When you go to the website and you click on the about, it's just a quote from Karl Popper, who was a uh, philosopher. Um, but this shoe is it definitely inspired by the Gats, the German army trainer. As you can see, it had pretty much had the same silhouette, but this is this brand's spin on it. Oh, there is Bodie. I love how it just like, it looks so industrial looking on the outside. So I could not record in Bodie. They did let me take photos, but no recording. I was like, okay, I'm being respectful, but it don't make sense how I can take photos, but I can't record, but okay. <laughs> but anyways, they had some really cute pieces in there and I got to like talk to one of the guys that works there. Um, so this is one of the shoes that I saw at Bodhi and I have been seeing this style shoe so often. A couple of my coworkers own the OG by Paraboo. Um, I think the model is called the Michael and that's definitely like the OG. This, that's probably what this shoe is based off of. But just like the Michael, this shoe does feature like a Norwegian stitch and like a rubber sole. But this one is in a Napa leather, so a very soft, supple leather. And I really look forward to seeing someone wearing these on the streets because I want to see how these are going to age, you know, after a couple months and, you know, years even. So this very beautiful suede jacket with red embroidery was $18.50. And I was blown away at the price. Like, yes, that's so expensive, but still for it to be a leather suede jacket by Bodie, I would have thought it would have been upward of two k Um, especially considering that they have like some, you know, lightweight wool pieces that are around two k So I was like, whoa, I was like, well, flabbergasted. So I actually associate, like, how is that jacket just $18.50? And they were telling me that sometimes if they make so many items, then the price will be lower. Like they're allowed to make the price lower. I thought that was interesting. My camera just died, but this man is so fly and his shoes is Crocs. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So you also can get you a little lineup at your tailor shop. Like I love a multi-person purpose little business. Love it. All right, y'all. So I have just gotten back from the tailor shop and did what it was supposed to do. Got there. They got them done in 30 minutes for me. So you guys have already seen the Dickies. I showed you guys what these look like before getting them altered. And this is what they look like taken in in the waist, you guys. And literally they did them perfect. Cause I didn't want them like super, super tight cause I still wanted to wear them a little loosey goosey, you know? However, I am thinking about getting them shortened just a little bit. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Like, should I shorten them or should I not? I honestly, I'm kind of on a verge because I feel like it's, it's still a look with the middle a little bit baggy. But I do feel that if I hem them, I might be able to get more wear out of them. 
And then this is actually the last item that I got thrifting. My camera ended up stopped recording, so I actually didn't um, end with talking about these. But these are a pair of Dockers. And actually a fun fact about Dockers, which I did not know, is they are owned by Levi's. And Levi's introduced Dockers, I believe, in 1986. This was actually the last thing that I actually found thrifting. And I like them because they are in this classic, you know, khaki style. And I feel like this type of pant is definitely a staple in one's wardrobe especially if you're wanting to like emulate that whole like capsule style wardrobe where if you're really trying to implement like staples in your wardrobe this is staple and I got it for the low and I'm so happy about that but I did try them on for you guys so you can see what they look like before I altered them or took them in the waist anyway and they were definitely falling off something needed to be done okay and I am just so happy that I got you know these taken in in the waist and if anything I may go back to shorten them like I said possibly in the future but the waist is definitely the main thing I can actually like wear them and I feel like the bottoms you can always kind of finesse the bottoms in a way wear heels or a cute little sneaker sneaker or something like that but yes the waist fits me perfectly and I would obviously highly recommend um, Orchard Express Taylor I think Lower East Side is the area that they're in but literally got these done in 30 minutes for me you guys and 15 per pan okay i paid 30 dollars in total to get both of these you know waist taken in so i feel like you cannot beat that yeah i am definitely looking forward to styling both of these with cute little tops and little heels and stuff like that uh, i'm just really happy because now i feel like i've definitely you know got a bang for my buck considering that with alterations included i still save money um if i was to buy these like firsthand you know with all of those Levi's, Dickies, Dockers, I feel like you have the same, again, thought process in mind when thinking about them. All of those brands, which is they are going to be functional and durable. I know y'all tired of me saying both of those words, but it is what it is. It's the Sierra Parker channel and that's what we're about over here. Functionality, durability, okay? Yeah, y'all. So that's everything that I got thrifting. All of my pants are now altered. Well, the two that I got thrifting for this thrift haul are altered. I'm so happy about it. And I want to end it saying, do not forget to check out my stand store. It'll be linked down in the description for you guys. Um, I'm really excited about it, this venture, and I really, really want to um, be of service to you guys. So if there's anything, any input that you guys want to add, um, any time slots that you feel like I should have, I am again here to service you guys. So um, let me know down in the description or via email. But I do believe again that the stand store is very seamless to use. Um, and I am just super excited to be working with you guys. So yeah. Um, all right. I have nothing else. I will see you guys in my next one.